Okay, this is 1965 Ford Falcon Futura. It's a turnkey car, it's ready to drive. Uh, car is complete, it's all original to the factory with twilight turquoise exterior, turquoise interior. It's a 289 V8 motor with two barrel carburation. Um, the VIN will indicate that it's a C code. Um, also, it is a uh, automatic as well. Uh, my dad purchased the vehicle about 22 years ago um, as a project. The only modifications before we bought it was a change from original drum. Before we bought it was a change from original drum brakes to disc brakes, uh, which was a nice upgrade. We also did some mechanical maintenance before we restored it. Um, this was done maybe about 20 years ago. Um, this included three angle valve job with rebuilt heads, uh, re rebuilt transmission, rebuilt suspension, new leaf springs, new control arms, strut rod bushings, tie rods, uh, ball joints. Rear and gear, gear oil, rear wheel bearing, uh, rear, rear wheel bearings, uh, rear wheel seals, uh, steering gearbox, and rebuilt transmission. Um, the uh, earliest receipt uh, is a transmission um, that was rebuilt in September 1991. You'll see that on the uh, on the eBay um, photos. Um, and that receipt actually showed 39,275 miles on it. Um, and then all other receipts are dated after this, which indicates about 3,000 miles um, on this vehicle since 1991. We really haven't driven it very much. It has been garaged. Um, uh, suspension work was mostly completed in February 2000. We do have the receipts for that. Also, the steering gearbox was replaced in 1992 with about 41,000 miles on it. Restoration uh, restoration was about 10 years ago, um, so it's about a 10 year old restoration on this. The fenders, hood, emblems, etc. were removed before receiving the turquoise metallic paint. Uh, the bumpers were, remo were removed and re-chromed along with the interior chrome trim. Go and turn on. And turn on. Uh, the bumpers were removed and re uh, they were re-chromed along with the interior chrome trim. Uh, the front grille, aluminum interior, Parts were re anodized with new chrome. Receipts are on hand. One of the highlights with the interior is a dash. Um, dash pad was reupholstered, and the plastic dash looks outstanding here. Let's take a picture of the dash. And you can see the interior, the headliner. Okay, the uh, um, the uh, plastic dash. You can see uh, it was it was done correctly. It was a it's actually pretty big. Goes across the whole dash. Um, it was actually sent out to Texas. Had a company restore it. They they put the plastic on it. Um, you can see the lights working there. Um, you can see the turn indicator there. Turn on the headlights, headlights. We'll walk around to this side and look at the uh, headlights here. Um, the recent work on this includes a carburetor, uh, new radiator, new battery, new water pump, new alternator, new timing cover, um, new fuel pump and fan shroud. Um, you can see the uh, headlights both work. Put on the turn indicators for left and right. That'll be the left turn indicator, right turn indicator. We'll take a look on the inside. You can see the lights also working in there. Only one light flashes there for both left and right turning carriers. That's correct because the other other light would be the high beams. Okay, we'll open the hood now. So this is a this is a motor. Uh, it's a 289 motor. I told you before that it was a C code. You can see on the uh, on the VIN that it's kind of hard. 
get a good picture. But that would be the C right there for the C code. Um, it's a 289 two, two barrel motor. It's a uh, new carburetor I mentioned earlier. New radiator, got a heavy duty radiator, radiator in there, new alternator, new battery. Uh, sounds good, healthy up here. We'll go back here and look at the, uh, listen to the exhaust. You can see that, uh, while we listen to the exhaust here, you can see that it's an original black plate California car. Um, there are, are some, uh, some things with the paint here. Notice you got a chip there. There is a, a ding on the hood in the, in the front. Um, it is very small though. There are some uh, noticeable blemishes on this paint um, throughout. It's not a uh, three-stage paint job that you might see otherwise uh, see in uh, other vehicles. Um, let's see. Uh, Okay, it looks like that's it. Let's take it for a ride. So I'll drive it to the gas station if you just hold this and then you can drive it back. go up and get some gas here and uh, the fuel gauge actually does work um, you can see we're on empty um, vapors probably and then also the uh, temperature gauge um, works very well too okay do here is we're gonna take off pretty quick um, we got a car coming over from this side coming at us that looks like they're gonna go ahead and turn um, here we go it's about 50 miles per hour there we got a red light We'll move over to the left lane. And you can you can tell that the car has a really nice sound from inside here. So we'll turn around and then we'll gas at once and then we'll pull in the gas station and that'll be it for the uh, test drive here. station get some gas